Hi guys, and thanks for clicking. Now, the Kalito 120 tank has been my favourite tank for the past few months. It's been in my daily rotation, constant use. And before that, the original Kalito with the RTA coil, one of my favourite all-time vapes. So to see that Aspire have followed suit and have now released the RTA system for the new 120 tank got me very excited. I've been using it for a couple of weeks. We've had various builds in here. Today though, we're going to push it to its limits. We're going to find out if it's been performing any good. But by pushing it to its limits, we're going to install a dual Alien Clapton build in that little deck there and see if it still handles the pressure. Let's get into this one. So straight up and close with the Kalito 120 RTA system. This is the packaging it shall come with. Easy to build, dual velocity deck, instant massive vapor production, um, epic flavor, smooth controlled airflow, and support single or dual coil build. Yeah, there is a ceramic block inside here, so you can make it a single coil. So that's the packaging. A little scratch and sniff on the back to check you've got an authentic authentic version. Yeah, I really need to learn to speak English. Ah, well, it's one of them things. So, inside the box, da -da -da, you get your rebuildable coil. You get an absolute ton of O-rings in there, an Allen wrench, some grub screws, and that is a ceramic block we were talking about. You can insert that into the deck to make it a single coil. And you also get a small bag of cotton. So you're good to go straight out of the box. So, as we were saying, this is my third build in here. In here at the minute is a seven wrap Clapton coil, um, a dual build, and it's been heavily used, as you can see. <laughs> um, plenty of room on that deck for building. The grub screws have held up nicely. There's no been no fading on those. The airflow on this, absolutely brilliant. Two airflow holes at the base there lead straight to your coils. No messing about. Though, the only thing that I've found to be a kind of downside, which we'll get more into that up top, is the pure size of this. It does take up some of that juice capacity from your tank. So what we're going to do, I'm going to strip out this build, and we're going to insert some dual alien coils to see if the rebuildable deck can withstand any build. Now these are the pre-built alien coils that we're going to be placing in today. The camera doesn't like focusing that well. You can see them there. They are two big chunky coils. So I'm going to do that and then I'll go through the easiest way I've found to wick the deck. You can clearly see how large the airflow holes are on that deck. And the actual build space you get Considering this is just an internal RTA coil, it's absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. So, I'm going to throw in this Alien Clapton build. And then we're going to test out this little RTA section. To see if it can still handle at high wattages. Because what I found with the dual coils that were going into it. Um, it was running at about 70 watts, so I still want to see if it can handle its 120 name. Okay. Oh, it's a bit janky. 
Let's see if we can straighten out those coils a little bit. Much better. So, what we're reading. Oof, 0 0.09. Let's fire these coils up and see if we've got an even glow. Nope, definitely not. They're gonna need a little bit of work. Ooh, the tab was literally struggling to power through those coils then as well. Just wanna make sure we've got no hot spots. Because once it's locked away in that coil housing, we're not going to be able to see these coils performing. So, I'm thinking that should do it. Oh, yes. The left one's a little bit quicker, but I'm not a perfectionist, so it'll do. Evenly enough for me. Right, let's get some wicks into this. Okay, so, it's wicked up now. We're just going to do the last wick. The easiest way I've found to get this deck to perform is to take each wick down to where that airflow is. And what you want to do is sit your scissors just on the base and snip. Because that is where you want your cotton to sit. You don't want it to be like a Genesis tank where it's just dangling down at the top of that gap. You need to fill that gap. That's it. So I'm just going to take a little snip from each of the corners. onto here just to thin out for that juice float now we just need to tuck each one of these tufts down into its respective little juice flow hole That'll run down. And there we go. That works brilliantly. Just so the top is completely saturated with cotton. Not too tight though. And the base sits like so. I'm going to finish off the other ones. Then we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so once you've got it wicked up. You'll want to see the cotton protruding into these juice wells just enough to just touch the base. The top you don't want too packed, nice and loose and fluffy, just to stop the juice running through. To be fair, I haven't experienced any leaking with this build deck whatsoever. But we're just doing this video now just to see if it can handle a bit of a beefier build. So guys, that's what you want to be seeing once you've wicked it up. Let's reattach this top cap and we'll reassemble the tank. Right, so... Right, so that's the Kalito 120 back together. What we're going to do, we're going to fill it up with some of this lovely coffee and walnut from Castle Vape. Absolutely loving this stuff at the minute. As I said, the bigger coil just take the capacity down on this tank to about a 3 mil. So you do find yourself filling it up a little bit more while you've got the 
RTA coil in there. But I'm sure we will be seeing a wide boy glass released soon. So there she is. Let's attach it to a mod and we'll see how it performs. So we're back up top and we're running at 80 watts. I don't know how clear that's going to be on the cam to you guys. So let's give it a blast. Wow. Okay. The decision was right to install the next level coils. It seems to be handling it fine. Bubbling away, wicking away brilliantly. No leakage. So, let's bring pros and cons to the RTA deck. Don't worry, we are going to be doing an over 120 watt vape on this in a minute. So, the RTA coil, pros. You're never going to struggle to find a coil because you can make your own. Building on that deck, very, very easy. Flavour? Yeah, <laughs> you can't get much crisper. At first though, I did overuse the cotton and the flavour was slightly muffled. Using that to snip the edges to make a little bit of a point when you're wicking it, it flows so much easier. The juice wells fill up so much faster. Absolutely bang on. Cons. The only con is the juice capacity goes down. But I am expecting to see a wide boy tank for the 120 on the market soon. When that happens, we'll come back, we'll have another look because I want to keep pushing this coil. This this rebuildable deck, I want to keep pushing it. I've got some notch coils coming through the post tomorrow. So if I can get my hands on one of the wider tanks when they're released, that'll be an interesting different build to see how well it performs with those. As I say, this is now my fourth build I've put in here. Um, I used the original Clapton build that came with the deck. And I've done two different cops and builds. I'm finding about a 7 wrap to 8 wrap is about the limit to the deck. But there's so much room in there. Absolutely so much room. You can put in virtually whatever you want. And it works. So, that was 80 watts with the rebuildable deck. Let's push it up to jump straight to 120. Why not? Let's have a look. Scrolling, scrolling. 120 watts with the Kalito 120 with its rebuildable deck. So, can it be done? Let's find out. Yep. And it's wicking lovely. It, it's managing it. So the phase of it not being a Kalito 120 anymore, I've just been blown out of the water. As a matter of fact, let's see. Let's do 130, another 10 watt jump. See if you can wick like that. Still going fine. Still absolutely chucking. You can't complain. Let's go again. 140 with the rebuildable deck. Getting a little bit warm now. Just a little bit warm. The room's getting foggy as hell. Do you know what? Dominican can go to 150 so 150 if I blow my head off I blow my head off but I'm this, this you can put whatever you want and it's taking it so yeah it's 150 watts people yep it's there <laughs> for a tank and it's not hot it's a 
dual alien Clapton building there now, and it's, I don't know if you're going to pick this up on cam, but it's reading 0.12, if that zooms in enough. It's, people, they, there's no faults with this coil at all. <laughs> well pros and cons done build done this coil has impressed me to one hell of a tune if you haven't already feel free to subscribe down below I'm going to link up straight to Aspire's site this coil was provided by Aspire for purpose of review um, they're retailing them. It's going to be the end of the month. What are we on now? The 26th. 26th of October. They said the end of October. So the next couple of days, they're going to be on sale for 18 quid. Yeah, 18 pound for a rebuildable coil that with the right build, 150 watts flavour. Oh my God. I just... You couldn't ask for more for 18 quid. Thanks for watching, people, and we'll see you next time on Steve Vapes.